These secret tips and tricks are some that you've never heard of before and will have you fighting like a legend in no time. Are you guys ready for this? All right, you gotta pay close attention to this video. So now that FNCS and Cash Cups are back in season eight, you need to know how to become the best fighter that you can and W key like a legend. You know, whether it's your first game or if you're in, you know, a bot lobby and you know, you need to pop off, becoming a good fighter, man, it's gonna put you ahead of the meta. What's going on guys? This is your motivation guy. Back again, the one and only Keith Allen. And today I'm gonna show you the best tips and tricks to improve your fighting skills and absolutely frag out when it is needed the most. All right, so just make sure that you guys pay close attention in this video as you're going to need to remember these tips and utilize them every single day. All right, speaking of which, our question of the day is, are you guys more of a W keyer or a placement player? All right, be honest. Let us know in the comments down below. All right, man, I'm so excited for this. Let's get this going. To become the best fighter possible, you need to practice your mechanics to your fullest capabilities, and game sense will also follow along with that if you guys just put in the time. All right, so we just had to put this first and just really emphasize as much as we can, so practice efficiently using our tips, okay? Okay, so a lot of players think that they can just go into a tournament with no practice and suddenly become the best fighters and just absolutely dominate. Well, that's just nowhere close to reality, man, and really to succeed in Fortnite, you have to grind. So the two most important things that a fighter always has is accurate aim and good mechanics. And you need to be able to play very quickly and change your play style depending on the scenario. Like peace control is extremely important this season since you need to finish fights quickly and make sure that you're ready for a third party fight. You always need to predict your opponent and having fast mechanics and playing smart, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna always keep you ahead of your opponent. So we recommend practicing using Raiders 464's Peace Control Map and the Skavak in-game aim trainer. All right, you can even use the new Skavak Peace Control Map and set up a legendary routine for your success. These maps are by far, guys, like the most advanced and convenient maps that really allow you to practice efficiently. So practicing for at least an hour in creative is very good, and it's just something that, you know, every single pro player does before going into an arena game. The best way of improving is by setting a routine every single day and just utilizing it to make sure every aspect of your game play is consistent. Okay, so every pro player sticks to a routine that they have been like really following for years and is why they are so ahead of the average player. Playing arena is definitely the best way to improve your fighting skills and fighting IQ. Not only is it the best way to become a better W keyer overall, but it's also the most convenient way to improve. Always try to take fights, guys, and the more you play, the more you're gonna learn. By playing a lot of arena, you're gonna be put in hundreds of different scenarios while taking fights, which is gonna help you a ton when it matters the most. Just make sure that you learn from your mistakes, man, and just use it in future fights. You know, many players fail to realize, you know, what they do wrong, and it's definitely a huge reason why they don't improve when fighting. So make sure to avoid making the same mistakes and just take a minute to realize how you died and, you know, what you should have done to really counter it. And so by playing a lot of arena, man, reviewing your mistakes and practicing consistently and creative and really creating a set practice routine, you're gonna be on top in little to no time. If you guys wanna get better right now but feel stuck and you don't know how to do it, then I have the perfect thing for you guys. One-on-one -on -one pro guys coaching. Our world-class coaches are here to teach you from A to Z how to improve get more mechanically skilled, and go over a master plan to help you guys improve and start winning. Join ProGuides.com today. Link is down below. You know, some secrets that pro players use that are crucial to their consistency, and it's why you need to really learn them, I'm telling you right now, like using secret exploits and implementing them into your routine, it's gonna make sure that you're ahead of your opponents mechanically. You know, there are just many exploits that you can use, such as the cone phase or ramp jump peak, and even different fake outs and pickaxe plays. The cone phase works in many different scenarios and literally allows you to place bills through your opponent's walls, man. Quickly run up to the right side of your opponent's wall, crouch and uncrouch crouch right as you place the comb. This allows you to peace control your opponent and will also help you predict their next move. If you think that you can handle the cone phase, there's an even better version of the exploit called ghost building. All right, so ghost building is a really useful exploit that allows you to box your opponents up without even having to edit. Ghost building uses the same fundamentals as cone phasing. However, you can actually phase all your builds through a wall, not just a cone. You need to find the perfect spot that allows you to slide a build through your wall. So the best position is really just being pinned up to the wall that your opponent is trying to take. And so with the ramp edited under you, this makes the game think that you're placing a build in front of the wall due to the angle that you're placing the build through. 
Practice and find this angle in creative, guys, and you can just box up your opponent without having to risk taking damage. So the ramp jump peek is a secret technique that not many players know about. You can use this peek whenever your opponent is a layer above you and is trying to claim your cone and floor. All you need to do is just edit your cone upwards like a ramp or just place a ramp down if you don't already have a cone placed down. After you've done that, edit the floor tile right above your head and just make sure that your opponent doesn't try to break it while you're editing. You can then jump with your shotgun pulled out and peek through the edited floor right above you. Using exploits will increase your fighting skills by tenfold, man. And really utilizing pro guys to really learn them is even easier, so definitely try that. By the way, make sure that you check out our other videos on exploits as there are just are many different ones that you can definitely learn from, not just these three. You know, something that not a lot of players realize is that their binds are holding them back from reaching their full potential. Like if you ever feel like your key binds are abnormal compared to the average player, and if you cannot continuously build without feeling fatigued, then you really need to switch to optimal binds. Like to have optimal key binds, use key binds that allow you to move around and edit and build simultaneously. These key binds are perfect for doing everything efficiently and will help with your mechanical skill. And so as of now, like the best way to have optimal key binds is by putting your wall and ramp on your side mouse buttons. This allows you to have more space in your keyboard and really helps your fingers move across your keyboard with ease. So the reasons, you know, most pros put their wall and ramp on their mouse button is because this allows you to move around and jump and crouch and pull out your pickaxe while building. Depending on your edit bind, put your floor to F or C and your cone to left shift. Along with this, changing your edit bind to E or F is definitely the move as they are easily reachable. Put your trap bind to T as it definitely is just the closest bind right next to your reload. Along with this, guys, change your ping bind to X as you still have an extra bind left to use. And so after just playing a couple of hours on these binds, man, you could definitely notice a huge difference in how easily you can build and strafe and edit simultaneously. If you're on a controller, you know, you most likely don't need to worry about Osma binds, but still make sure that you don't have any crazy binds that are just ruining your mechanical potential. Another huge part of succeeding and winning all of your fights is by playing patiently and being more aware than your opponent. Playing aggressively is the definition of W King, but doesn't mean that you should just start playing without your brain, all right? Stay aware of your surroundings and set yourself up for success against any player that comes across, all right? Never take any bad peaks or 50-50s. Like, try to always take the smartest route when fighting and never give your opponent the upper hand. Box fight with a lot of counter piece control around you and just make sure that your opponent can deal damage to you without you dealing more back. Next time that you're in a fight, man, never take a peek if you know that your opponent will deal more damage to you than you to them. Always make sure that you're taking a smart fight and just never get tunnel vision on killing somebody. For example, if you're given the opportunity to disengage and you're running low on mats or HP, you need to always take it. You have to be patient when you play and also after you get eliminated. Like you can't just let a bad fight ruin your entire tournament. So stay patient and just keep playing how you normally would, all right? Players will do whatever they can do to survive. So don't give into it and just start playing differently than what you normally do. Whether they are, you know, storm camping or constantly running away, like you must stay on top of your game. Just wait for your opponent to make a mistake and take advantage of it. All right, guys, so to recap this video, remember that all the tips and tricks that we've talked about, and I'm telling you, man, you're gonna become a better fighter. Practicing the right way and using our tips is gonna guide you to drop in 20 bombs in every game like it's nothing and help you win all your fights. Utilize Pro Guys to its fullest by using all of its resources and make sure to put in that work that you need to do to succeed. Speaking of which, like you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks and find more videos just like this one. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Listen, man, we'll see you on the next one. Keep going. Don't quit. Peace.